Good morning, I'm Tina Jennings. Oh, I wish you could smell this studio right now because it smells like bacon. I'm so excited for many reasons. Uh, this whole hour, we love celebrity uh, chefs uh, Ming Tsai around here. We love all of his cookware. We love everything that he brings to us. So if you've always wanted to own a piece of his cookware or you own some and you love it and you wanna add more to your kitchen, this is the hour you have to stay with me. So everything that we have this hour in his cookware is gonna be 50% or more off we're also, if you have an HSN credit card, this is a great time to uh, take advantage. Everything that you see, you're gonna be able to take uh, an extra two flex pay added to it. And if you're new to having an HSN credit card, you can take an additional $10 off. So lots of great reasons to use your HSN credit card this hour. Um, let me tell you that everything that we have this uh, hour is gonna be customer picks. Uh, we have everything with that midnight steel that we know uh, from Chef Ming. And look who I've got with me. Chef uh, Eric Toxerman. Hi. Chef. Good morning. 25 plus years. It's a long time when I try to add it up. It's kind of frightening. I said, did you start when you were like seven? <laughs> Uh, food enthusiast, no. which was my favorite part of your title. Yes, I but, chef, food enthusiast, all of the above. But what's harder, chef or being a dad and cooking for your boys? Obviously a dad, being a husband, cooking for my boys and making sure that I always have some food ready to go for them at a moment's notice. Absolutely, <laughs> so this is an easy way to make the family happy, right? When I said uh, we're gonna have some great deals, how about we start with a true buy one, get one. So if you went to hsn.com right now and you put in either of these pans and you wanted to just go buy them separately, you're gonna be able to buy each of them for the price we have for the both pair. So if you went right now, uh, it would be actually $39.95 for one of these pans, but you're gonna get the grill and the griddle both today for under $40. This is the lowest price that we have had this, and we still have both colors available, Eric. We've got the copper bronze and the race car red. Ooh. Because I always love a little pop of color in the kitchen because it makes me feel good. Not only do I like to cook good, I like to feel good as I'm cooking. And I think having the color choices, I think it's just great. Yeah, now <clears> I feel <throat> like the kitchen now, it's about that now. Yeah, because Making a lot of fun. people really do design their house practically almost around their kitchen oh, yeah. and what goes in it. So everybody out there, you might know somebody or it might be you out there that you actually have a theme in your kitchen. So, cause that's where, let's, let's be honest. That's where all the action happens. No matter where you try to spread out your food, put it on the dining room table here, you put it on the other table there, everybody congregates around the kitchen. Why? We all need to eat. And I just think it's a, a great way to be in the kitchen, cooking for the ones that you love and really giving a piece of yourself, which is kind of the way I feel. It's like, you know, a piece of me, I'm putting into my food. I'm putting love a into sprinkle it. Sprinkle of love. A little sprinkle of love. That is what yeah. I always tell our boys is that's the secret ingredient. Oh, the secret ingredient. Love. And when we have good cookware, it makes it easy because we want, exactly. I mean, you know, you feel bad when your meals come out not how you want them right. to because they've stuck to the pan, they've cooked unevenly and you're like, oh, I served this to my family. That's really what his cookware is all about. And today we've got the grill and the griddle. Which is which, great. Which one do you want to start with? Well, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about both. But right now I have these great grilled cheese. Ugh. A nice 11 inch size pan. And I have this just on the griddle, the flat part. What I love about this is because the pan is square. Yep. Now a lot of times at home, you can't fit a round pan on the back and still get that full coverage on your burner because the round pan bumps into the back of your stove. Yep. And so with this, I can actually get four grilled cheeses. Now, if I was at home using a round pan, my round pan in order to fit these same grilled cheeses would probably have to be at least a 14 yes. inch, if not bigger. A regular one, you can maybe get two. Right, exactly. Maybe. And then there's still a lot of room left over oh, because yeah. of that round shape. Because uh, Chef Ming, thought you know in his head like hey I'm gonna make it a square because I'm gonna be able to do more mm -hmm. stuff like not only do we have the grilled cheese I had the bacon over here when as I tell you, well I said it smelled like bacon in here <laughs> and so that, I'm gonna get that out for you oh chef I can't right now so here's what's great about the nonstick this is this is the new midnight steel yep. nonstick 
is that you have the option. We can pour off this bacon grease. I can go ahead, take a towel, wipe this down, and go ahead and continue cooking. Because of that nonstick, you have the choice to eliminate fats, mm -hmm. or you can add fats if you want. You could add olive oil, coconut oil, uh, butter, yep. whatever you want to do. But I like having that choice to say, you know what, I want to cut back this week yep. on the calories I'm taking in. And just put it straight on. Straight, straight on. Straight on the pan. And you're, you will still feel okay about that. Yes. We have uh, pre-soaked uh, French toast here. <gasps> so you saw me wipe out that bacon fat and I'm just putting this French toast right in. And I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. And I'm going to let the- Look at these huge pieces. Yeah, this is nice uh, challah bread that Amanda has so generously sliced for me and put inside the egg custard. And we're gonna let that go. That's the best thing and that's like a big piece of advice I have is once you put food in your pan, leave it be for a little bit. I don't know, do you cook at home? Yes, at yes. And then a lot of times what people will do is they'll put a piece of chicken or a piece of fish or yep. a piece of steak. They put it in the pan and immediately wanna touch it. That's true. Let the pan do the work and then the pan and the food, it will naturally release. Mm. But because of this, this midnight steel, you have that nonstick. This is PFOA free, PTFE free, which we love because what that means is that there are no plastic synthetics in the manufacturing of the uh, the cookware. And we always try to, you know, do right by our family. We get the right kind of foods. We want the same in the cookware. We want everything to be as healthy and good for our family. So why would we not start with the cookware itself? Exactly. And I love the fact that- With all these sliders. Yeah, building sliders. I love this because I'm a big slider fan. Whenever I go, if I go out to eat with my, with my kids and my wife or anybody else, I like to think like, I love sliders. Yeah. If there's sliders on the menu, you got me. Cause I'm like, hmm, what's in there? Cause sometimes I don't want to commit to, I know it seems weird. I don't want to commit to a whole burger, <laughs> even though the three sliders is probably more. Like it's probably more of the weight and it's more bun, but there's like, I like to be able to eat one or two and then take the other one home. Yep. So I love that. I actually fit 12 in here, 12 little sliders. So both the grill and the griddle are both 11 inch pans. So I think we have two of the grills and one of the grill out here, right? Yep, we did the, the sliders on the, the little grill pan so you can still get that, that mark. Yep. And what's great about this nonstick is a lot of people think that with nonstick, you don't get a good restaurant quality sear. And that's just not true. So you can have I, both. You can get both. You can have the best of both worlds where you're gonna get that restaurant quality sear and then also get the, um, you know, the nonstick qualities of it so you get that cleanup. So it's like grilling, but inside. So you're still Correct. gonna have those nice grill marks that you would wanna get from like the barbecue outside. Absolutely. So we're gonna finish that up. Look at that, 12 sliders take... came out of there. And then pick... you just pour right out. I'm gonna pour off that fat. And then, and then you just wipe it. Just Look it, gonna... watch. Now, all burnt cheese, you saw me put yep. grilled cheese, or you know, shredded cheese onto those burgers, onto those sliders. Is that just a cloth? And that's it, that's just a wet rag. That's it. And so there's the mess right there. That's midnight steel. And now we are ready to go. That is the Simply Ming midnight steel with the soft grip handles, which we love because it just feels really nice in there. Even if you want, you can always hang it, but I just love the feel of it. And I've had the, this, this is pan is, is really hot and that, that's how high up I can get my, my hand on this soft grip handle and that heat isn't transferring. Isn't not coming into the now, handle. No, it eventually will if right. I really have my pan blazing. Right. And another thing I forgot to point out is that you can cook on any surface okay. on here. That means, uh, Electric, halogen, yep. induction, which is great. And Anything you got at home, this yes. is gonna work. And we, you know, we're gonna be talking about our induction uh, pans a little later. Absolutely. So I know that when we're talking about the midnight uh, steel, there's a lot of great things, the nonstick about it. Um, it also, if I happen to grab something like a fork or something like that, and I wanna use it on there, which would usually be a big no-no. Right. You would normally never grab like a metal anything and put it to your nonstick. Right, a lot of people with nonstick, it's always like, no. Yeah, your like, mom Like the would... tongs I'm using, like the silicone. These, these are Chef Ming's uh, tongs, but I could use metal tongs. You could. As long as you're just not gouging away at your pans, you can, this is metal utensil safe. Absolutely. Uh, about five years ago, Chef Ming came on board at HSN and uh, showed us his Technolon Plus nonstick. Yep. 
Then he went back to the drawing board and said, we can make this better. And then now, fast forward five years, you have the midnight steel. So it's abrasion resistant, and then also it's just a better nonstick that's gonna last you years and years and years. And if you go, because I said uh, this is a customer pick, if you go and read the reviews, that's what everybody is talking about. The reviews will talk about, I made whatever X is, chicken, salmon, something, and then they'll talk about how it just came right out of the pan. It was, you know, that is what they're all raving about, is how easy it is to get everything out of the pan with that nonstick. Exactly. Now, I didn't put anything on these pork chops, and, you know, they've been in there just a couple seconds and they're already sliding around. Yes. That's because of that new midnight steel, that, that new, better uh, ceramic nonstick. Again, it's PFOA free uh, in the manufacturing. It's PTFOA, uh, PTFE free, which means there's no plastic synthetics. This is a ceramic based nonstick, which is gonna be great because the old original nonstick that used to be out on the market, at around 500 degrees, it would start to disintegrate and, and fail. Yep. This is stovetop safe up to 850 degrees. Oh yeah. That's, that's hot. Yes. I mean, a lot of uh, stovetops aren't gonna get that hot. No, that's kind of abnormal for just us everyday regular cooks. But if, also, if you went and looked at your pans right now, people probably see stains on theirs that have been you know, left there from something they cooked <laughs> right. five years ago. <laughs> that's not gonna happen on these. No, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead Oh, there's the French toast. French toast. Here it is. So I want to remind everyone, when you're looking at this clearance price, if you're just tuning in and you're looking at the two pans, the grill and the griddle uh, that Eric is using right now, you're not picking between the two. You are getting both for under $40. I love so that. Let me remind you, if go literally, go to hsn.com right now. Go look up either one of these pans. And right there, look, this is live right now, looking at hsn.com, one pan, $39.95, just to get one. Same color, same pan, same dimension, everything. <laughs> right now, you can get both for the price of basically, what is it, like five more cents? <laughs> and you can get both of them. That's you have great. the two flex pay option on this, but remember if you have the HSN credit card, you can now break this into four flex pay if you wanna do it uh, that way as well. This is the lowest price we have offered this duo. Uh, so definitely take advantage. Again, it is in the copper or the race car red. And I think the race car red is the most popular this morning. Yeah, I mean, race car red is great. I mean, look at that pop of color yeah. on, on that red. That just, I think that's just a really accent piece to really say, hello. What are we're you using here. here on top of this? This is a, 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 gl a glass press. It's a press. Which is a little additional purchase. Okay. And I'm using it for the grilled cheese. You could also use it if you wanted to, if you're like really strict about your bacon yeah. and you don't like your bacon curling up and you want to keep your bacon flat. Yeah. Or if you're doing paninis, you use this little glass press here and it's going to keep everything nice and flat. Have you ever, have you ever heard yeah. of like, um, like brick chicken yes. kind of thing? It's same your, concept. Same concept, because the that. brick is really just there to keep everything so flat, flat, and it cooks evenly. And it's just same thing with the grilled cheese. We're gonna talk more about that, because yes. that thing is pretty awesome. Uh, so remember, uh, you're gonna get both of these, and the reason um, that Chef Ming decided that we're gonna do this in a square formation is if you're watching everything that Eric is taking off of here, look how much is fitting in one pan. Because it is that square, you're able to get four grilled cheese out of there all at one time. It's not two. Oh, there you go. You're gonna give me the melty cheese, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Look, this looks like a serving for me. This would be long, pretty much. You have a long shift ahead. I Look just want to make sure you're. Oh, the You're cheese. nice and full. You're giving me melty cheese and bacon in the morning. This is like the hour. It's not a bad hour to be in. It is right? not. Did you see the cheese on this, baby? So again, I mean, the pans are 11 inches, which gives you plenty of cooking space, mm -hmm. easily for two to four people. You have the griddle, you have the little grill uh, pan right there. So you're really covered on both sides, you know, no matter how you want to cook or what you want to cook. I can't, I got grilled cheese in my mouth. <laughs> it's just too good. I can't believe we Tina did four of them. Tina is speechless. We did four full-size grilled cheese in one pan. So if you're looking right now, this is what the griddle looks like without any food on it. It's the flat surface. The grill is the one that has the marks, and that's gonna give you those marks that you would like on a grill. 
but inside your house. So don't think nonstick that midnight steel means you won't get those nice grill marks. We did 12 sliders that had them. Both pans in either the copper or the red under $40. You absolutely have to add this into it. Um, and I know we were talking about the, the glass press that we had on top of the yep. grilled cheese. Can we talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Because yep. we were talking about paninis. We're, yeah. Me. Paninis, bacon. Um, on bacon. You know, I did the grill. You, you can do the grilled cheeses on here. I'll actually show you with a nice cleaner one instead of the butter filled one. So anything that you really want to keep flat and cook evenly, this is where you're going to use a glass press. Okay. And that, you know, you, you know, just to show you just on top of the French toast. Because, you know, some things a lot of times, say like with the pork chops mm -hmm. I have cooking, the, you know, the way that it's, it's made, like there's fat yeah. around it, it might curl up yes. on you. Then you can use the glass press, not burn your hands, and you just want to make sure that, it, you know, that way it's going to keep all of your food keeping in contact with the hot pan. You know what, I, when you're talking about pork chops, that's the number one thing I have a problem with, and I always have to like cut the edges to make right, it lay it, down. It, it comes up on you. Right. But then I feel like I'm losing all the juices because right. I cut it. So you it could press. just easily take the last press if you wanted and you press and it down. Press it. You just press it down on the uh, on that pork cook chop. It. And then that way, you know, you're not going to burn your hands, anything. That's also a custom pick. It's also more than half off today for the press. Uh, we have that under $15 today. It's that tempered glass so you can still see everything that's going on underneath it. Um, it's seven inches, which is a good amount. We, he put it right on top of um, all four of those pork chops and you were able to do that. So pick up the press, yep. uh, add it to everything that you're having today. This hour has so many great options uh, in the cookware. Stop. If Eat Valerie's the back there, I know she was eyeing up the French toast and also the, uh, the grilled cheese. Valerie, it's ready. Okay. I'm gonna let you learn a little bit about flex pay while I eat this. Enjoy the flex pay information. <laughs> the thing I love most about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say flex pay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once and no interest. Beat that layaway. <laughs> Are you ready? Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. Okay, if you want fast, efficient heating, but you want it anywhere in your home, you wanna be able to do that induction heating, and we've all heard about induction, we've all heard about the great things that come with it. Well, Chef Ming took that and gave it to us in a cooking station that we can move, it's portable. And we have it more than 60% off today on this clearance. We're gonna show you all of the things that it can do, all of the power, how precise you can get your temperature, all the great things, move it to your counter, move it to the dining room, wherever it is that you wanna use this, it is now your go anywhere stove. So we are no longer tethered to the kitchen. Whether you have people over, you have a party, just the family. The boys, I bet, love it, Eric. Yes. It'd be so much fun. More than 60% off today. It's under $70. Uh, and I know we just learned everything about Flex Pay right now on the HSN credit card. We have this available on three Flex, but if you have that HSN credit card, you can add two more Flex payments on this to make it five. Take advantage of it if you have uh, the HSN credit card. Induction, do you want to start there? Because that is just like the shiny thing for me. Right, induction is fantastic because look, we have a portable stove that you're actually getting this restaurant quality yeah. sear on. And you can bring this virtually anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere there's a plug, you can, you can plug it in. And we have these two New York strips inside that grill pan we were just selling. Yep. And we're getting this beautiful 
you know, sear on it. And so I'm gonna let that finish on that one side. And then now I just wanna show you exactly what induction is all about. Now in here, we have just a, a completely cool pan okay. and a little water. I'm gonna turn this on to max sear and press start. And I'm gonna pour in a little water. I want, this is just to show you and demonstrate how quickly this is gonna come up and start steaming and then bubbling and then into a boil. Okay. Now what is happening inside is that there are copper coils. And when you turn the power on, uh, what happens is that alternating current, which is the, ref the, the friction of electricity, uh -huh. starts to rub all of those molecules together. And so you're instantly getting heat as soon as you turn it on. As opposed to my old 1982 right. glass top where you turn it on and have to come back 10 minutes later when it's, you know, yep. <laughs> you know get, getting going. I, you know, probably 15 seconds, we already have steam. I was going. about to say, you were three words into this induction, and I was were you I, watching? I didn't want to interrupt you, and I'm like, it's already going. It's I wasn't already, even it's paying attention. Yeah, it's already getting there. So that, so that is there. what is going on. So when I said fast at the beginning, that's what we mean by fast. Yes, because sometimes when you're cooking, you don't want to take your time. Right. Kids want to eat. Your spouse wants to eat. Yep. They want to eat now. So <laughs> you, have, you, you just came home from work, and you need to get things going. Look at that. You want to know, and that was probably less than 30 seconds oh, that yeah. we've been talking. So... Just wanted to show you that. So you know that when you come home, you need to get things going and get it quick. And that's what induction can do for you. And I'm gonna continue to go ahead and cook. Now the thing that's great about this is that when you remove the pan, you'll see that that's blinking. It's now disengaged. Okay. The, this will not turn on until an induction ready pan goes onto this unit. So this is about the connectivity between the pan and Correct. the cooktop. Because it's a magnet. Yep. So, and that's how you can tell if your cookware is induction ready. Yep. Is that if a normal, regular refrigerator kind of magnet yep. sticks, that's induction. Then that, that's, so you can do that test on anything yes. in your home. Yes, Correct. Just to see. Uh, so of course, everything that we're gonna be um, offering today in this hour from Chef will all be ready for induction. But if you wanna know if you have something at home that we'll use on this, that's how you test it. Um, I love this because we were talking about, we saw how fast that water boiled. Like literally, Eric was like three words in and I'm like, <laughs> I don't wanna interrupt you, but it's already doing the boiling thing. Um, and the, it's portable, but don't think, oh, is it just portable? It's like a high, low, medium? Like, no. I, how much could I possibly have control over a portable? Well, let, let me yeah. show you. The knobs that we typically will have, yeah. it's usually either just notches, or you might have low on one side, then medium, and then high. You don't know what's going on in between. Let me show you through the, uh, the interface here, because it's very intuitive. When you plug it in, there are six different presets. So here, if I go to low, you're gonna see this go to 100. Medium low is 175. Up to medium, medium high, high, and then sear, or uh, excuse me, max sear. And then what I also love is that you can control it in five degree increments. Now up that's or control. Down. Now what's great about that is that you can actually do things as low as doing chocolate or cheese fondue, ah. or as high as deep frying, which is what I'm going to do next. All the which way up I to think deep is frying. great because you're not going to get that on your stovetop. No. You're not going <laughs> to get that precision on your cooktop at all. Wait, so two things already. One, you're right, I don't get that kind of precision in the thing that I probably spent a lot of money in, the huge stove that I have. Um, and also, if you have gotten induction, that's usually a higher priced stove for you. That's high, induction right. is like when the, the, the thing. When induction first came out onto the market, they were thousands of dollars. Yes. And they made this high pitch squeal. <gasps> this high they did, yep. And, you know, thankfully over time, like yep. technology, when it catches up, you know, the price comes down. This is restaurant quality induction in your own home. For under $70. For under $70. <laughs> it's Anytime, insane. My, my dad is quite a foodie. So, like, you know, I come, oh, by, I come by being a chef naturally. Aww. And so when he, see, when he saw this for the first time, he's like, oh, I like that. Oh. Because he's the type of person that would travel with this yeah. to, you know, to a home. Because who knows what you're going to be walking into if you're going to a dinner party or a holiday or what going you, to your friends. What did you just put in there? Uh, donuts. We're gonna fry donuts. Oh, you know. That's the precision that you have here. We have this set to 375, which is a great, you know, an average ideal temperature for frying. 
and we're, we can do deep frying. We just deep fried on a portable? Yes. We just, How are we're gonna make that? donuts. I, portable induction. I grew up doing fondue as a child, back in that day, fondue. the late 70s, early 80s. So I have great fond memories of sitting around literally yeah. a small pot of hot oil and taking you know, chicken and yeah. beef and vegetables yeah. and things like that and basically deep frying it in this oil. Oh, but uh, now we're taking it a step further and doing donuts. And what I, I'm also using here is we actually have a skimmer set. Yes. That which, uh, is a pair of tongs as well as this uh, little strainer, which we'll in the restaurant we call this a spider. Oh, you call that a spider? We call this a spider. Oh, I want to be in with the lingo. So I'm going to, from now on, <laughs> if you'd like the spider, there's your <laughs> item number for you right there. Um, and that set uh, for you is available as well. That's the tongue and the skimmer set. That's more than 50% off also for under $13. Jet black uh, and rich red uh, is available in the set and in, in the um, induction uh, portable stoves that we're talking about. The bl jet black and the rich red are available. I know you're working with the jet black right now, which happens to be... Uh, the most limited of the two. So my mother is Korean. Okay. Um, and she loves to do Korean barbecue. Right. She makes the best. And they Korean. do hot pot there, right? Yes. But my, my mom loves a portable stove because she likes to do the Korean barbecue outside because she, she doesn't want, want the whole house. Right, smell. the whole house to smell like that. So she, so I have always known that a portable uh, stove top is the way to go, the way to do everything. Right. This is like, the top, the cream of the crop of being able to do that. My mom would love this. Yeah, she, then she's ready to go at a moment's notice. I hope she's not watching because I might get her this. Now we're not doing this because we're saving calories. I just want to show <laughs> the, the, the induction quality here. So this is completely cold. We haven't had this on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And just to show you. Hey, let me stay on this side for you so I can help. I wanna make sure we, if we can, uh, not sure we can get that shot there. And then this, I'm pointing this at the glass. So that glass is at, is at about 75 degrees. And this just got unplugged somehow. I just lost Ready? power. That's all right. Ah, we'll, we'll work <laughs> on it. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, hey, it's live TV. Things we'll happen. We're going to swap it. Just like that. So what we're trying to basically show you is that when we were talking earlier about it gets hot only when an induction. Correct. Um, available pot or pan gets on there, right. that's when it gets hot. Right. So it should only get, if it, we go by that theory, it yeah. should only get hot on one side. Correct. Right. So if we're on a pan that just didn't have hot oil on it, yep. this glass would be completely cool, yep. and then this pan would be getting hot. So it's, it's amazing what induction can do, and it's really gonna change your life in terms of the kitchen and the, and the responsiveness yeah. to your, your cooktop. So think about it, your spills are not gonna burn on there, um, it's not gonna stick. You're gonna be able to do everything from fondue or melting chocolate or keeping something warm for the party or the gathering that everybody's there, all the way to the fact that we just made donuts deep Fried. Uh, this is more than 60% off for this induction portable stove. Uh, one of those things that you have to pick up. Seventy dollars under seventy dollars for this. Oh, can I have can I have a donut for the yeah, walk? I'm gonna give that to you. Okay. I don't need the plate. That's how we do. <laughs> okay, my producer said. We're gonna walk to the walk. That yeah. Are, are, we, like gonna, that. are we gonna give him credit? Rob <laughs> the producer. Well. Said. I <laughs> I love the wok, and we're gonna get into why I love the wok, because I think it's one of the most versatile pans in the kitchen. I because you can we do- just deep fried donuts right now on a portable stove. You can do so much. Okay. Isn't, isn't that great? Little donut, now we're into the wok, one of my favorite pans that, that I use at home. So this is one of your favorite, and I asked you earlier, why is it your favorite kind of pan? Because you would know. Because, First of all, it's deep, so you can actually get a lot of uh, quantity into the pan that some of my other, you know, regular fry pans aren't going to do. I love that, you know, the shape of it, so you can actually feel like a chef do and, toss, and toss your vegetables ah. in there. I'm actually going to make you one of my favorite dishes that I had read about uh, years ago and saw some things. It's kind of like a, it's a stir-fry dish okay. of rice but it, it's based on a Japanese dish. Ah. So inside, I, I just have some vegetables going on, some onions, some peppers, zucchini, and I'm gonna put in some leftover rice. That's Never, leftover like rice. If, yeah, leftover rice, if you do Chinese food, there's always that rice left over. Mm. Never ever does it reheat properly the next day. It, yep. it comes out of the fridge and it comes, it's, you know, it's hard, yep. it's like a, right? Yep. So this is a good way to use up that rice. 
So Look I'm at gonna that. That's saute like that. serious um, chef flipping. While you're flipping that, Eric, uh, let me give you some added bonus onto this. This is the lowest price we have ever had um, this soft grip 11 inch wok. We have taken more than 60% off today. It is under $30 for this wok. We have it in the copper bronze and in the race, race car red, which is the one you're looking at right now. The bronze though is the more limited between the two colors for this particular one. I'm eating uh, chocolate off my fingers from the donut. That's all right. This is already Here, I'm gonna give you, I'll so give you a wet rag and you can oh, clean no. yourself off prop. Oh, you're just gonna, okay. Yeah, you just lick, the, <laughs> just lick, lick it that off. right off. Don't worry about that. You don't wanna waste that. But when we're talking about this wok and the capacity um, of this, because you were talking about pasta and you know this is yes. kind of that don't just think wok only stir fry yeah because the wok it's because it's deep it's going to give you that extra space to yeah. get a utensil in there and stir things around so if you have like penne pasta or spaghetti yeah. in there you know with a regular chicken fryer which is only about three or four yep. inches deep you know pasta starts flying out all over the place now let me finish this dish for you real quick oh my goodness. so here's the trick to making this stir fried rice in my opinion, phenomenal. And you okay. can kind of do your own little thing with this. I'm gonna take it off the heat completely. Okay. Take an egg, crack an egg into your rice and just vigorously stir it up. And what this does is that residual heat is going to cook the egg, but it's not gonna scramble the egg to the point where you're getting little chunks of egg. That's why you take it off the heat. That's why you take it off the heat. And it's actually gonna make it the rice creamy it's oh going to give gosh. it this creamy consistency when i had this dish for the first time like it was love at first bite it really was because at home all you know i added a little lime juice a little soy sauce and that is it i'm going to go ahead put i've it always on this made that platter. mistake i have always left it on the burner and i always get scrambled eggs in my fried rice and and some my morning you know, is already made because i have this great trick to now take away in my new uh walk and there are styles of of fried rice where you actually do cook right. the egg first and yep. you want those little chunks so i'm going but to this makes remove that green. i'm going to give you actually i'm just going to give you the whole thing in case you want a vegetable i don't know if you want a whole vegetable or not and i'm going to go ahead and wipe Tina out this pan. serving just, oh, you're to just to show you wipe it out? i'm just going to wipe it out and continue to cook is that because it's the midnight still it's still? The, still the midnight still yep. it's all the same stuff Okay. and it's gonna come up clean, and I am ready to go. There's not gonna be any flavor transfers, so if you're doing fish in here one moment, you're not gonna get, you know, and so then cook a steak, you're not gonna get a fishy tasting steak. You won't have a fishy. Time. No, not oh, at all. Look at that. And then things like sloppy joes, which I love every now and then. Can I, I tell love you, good sloppy joes. I've gone through a weird sloppy joe phase? craving phase of my life, and I have no idea why. It's like my, my inner you child just, was All of a sudden you just crave yes. it. So you, no go, you buy that can and you cook up the meat. Maybe. I don't want to say that next to the chef, That's, but I bought the pan. Please, I buy the can too. I mean, I, I'm not going as far to make homemade <laughs> sloppy joe all the time. You have a seven-year-old who needs sloppy joes now. Right, exactly. Oh my gosh. Sloppy joes, but look at the quantity. We have only have this about half full. And again, it's that midnight steel nonstick. It's PFOA free, PTFE free. And you have the helper handle here and the soft grip. So you can actually go ahead and take this to the table, put it on a trivet, and then people can help themselves whenever they want. Because they're so pretty. They're, this, go they're gorgeous. This, this is the kinds of uh, a walk that you would present out on the table. You have some stuff that's inside your cabinets that you're like, I wouldn't let anybody see. <laughs> I think this is not pretty, it's not a pretty color, it has seen better days. It's probably time to let them go on their way and get this wok to replace so much. Because we've already made stir fry. By the way, I cannot believe that was leftover rice. Now, what, now give me your honest opinion. What do you think about that, the, that egg in there? It, I could tell the difference in the creaminess. When you were talking about the egg kind right. of made it more creamy, that's what I'm saying. I cannot believe that was leftover rice. Right, and that's what they do in Japan. That's how I heard about the dish. In the morning, they'll use their leftover rice from the night before, heat and it in the microwave, crack an egg, and then, and then it, kind they'll of just work it in. they'll just put in like a little a dash of soy, maybe some sesame yeah. seeds, and things like that. You're welcome. <laughs> use that <laughs> at my, home. Yeah, that's my little tip for you today. That's your tip. Look at these sloppy joes. But just look like that. how much came out of there. So we made and, two, four, six, eight sandwiches. So again, Chef, that was one of the reasons this was your favorite pan, because of how much you can put in it. Yes. Now, if you have this pan and you purchase the induction burner, yep. you could actually 
simmer and braise on this. You could take a piece of meat of, uh, you know, um, chuck roast or a semi-boneless pork shoulder, sear it in the pan, and then you could go ahead and cover it because there is a glass lid that comes with it. Yes. And then put it on your induction burner and actually slow cook it, which I think is great. Absolutely. So remember, uh, for this walk today, and you were right with the tempered glass lid that comes with it in either color, the bronze or in the red, um, we have it Pardon today me. available for 60% off. This whole hour, I can't believe how much that we have available. Um, and I also want to remind you, these are clearance. So once these colors are gone, once whatever is gone, it's gone, it's gone. So make sure that you take... You told me you were going to do this this morning. I he do says, this. He's going to pop popcorn. I do this at home because my boys love it. Because you can see what's going on because of that glass lid. So you just put what in there? Just a little bit of oil. Oil. And a third cup of, uh, of popcorn, popcorn kernels. Seeds. And now we're gonna make popcorn live. I actually, I literally do this at home <laughs> probably three really? times a week. Yeah. I, we love popcorn at my house. I've what's never, a, yeah, I've what's never. Not, what's not to love? love and I, uh, doing it here is so much better than the microwave yeah. stuff. But going back to the induction, yeah. I married, I used to marry the induction with my wok mm -hmm. because my old stovetop was so horrible. We have since replaced it a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But once I got the induction involved with my popcorn. Oh, it's already popping. It's already popping. That's the way it was with my induction cooker, uh, was making popcorn. I didn't have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for my old 1982 it stove. <laughs> it was like, it was, I wanted popcorn, I wanted it now, now. the induction did it. Look and so that. we are already going, just like that. I can't believe we're making popcorn right now. Uh, what are you making in the middle one? This is a uh, little sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork. So again, it's still that midnight steel that we know when it comes to yes. uh, Chef Ming's um, cookware. We love the, the nonstick about it. We love that everything um, comes wiping clean out of there with what you would you've been using a wet cloth. That's, That's it. it. Just a little wet rag. <laughs> That's it. That's it. What kind of a cleanup is that? I would love to have that available. Oh, unless you want to, you know, oh, stand I mean, at the sink and scrub and let it soak overnight and clean it up and the next day. Then, by all means. <laughs> Look how fast that was. I'm just going to throw ah. in. Yeah, it's popping all over the place. We're cooking live. We are cooking live. <laughs> it's like popping out. I love that we just made popcorn. I was able to see it all through uh, the glass lid on there. And look how much was able to go in there. This wok really does. It really does everything. Hold a so lot. everything from searing, sauteing, you could do your stir fries, you could braise in this, you could deep fry in this. It is You could do the fancy chef flippy thing. Yeah, you could do That's the well fancy chef it. flippy thing. <laughs> but <clears throat> in all honesty, if I had a, you know, a uh, deserted island kind of yeah. thing, this would be a that, pan that I would use. That would be it. Because you can cook virtually anything in it. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it's got that, we didn't uh, make a pasta, but I think that, look at there, perfectly we'll popped. Like perfectly, perfectly popped, popped, ready to go, made in virtually less than two minutes. Oh yeah, for sure. When was the last time you popped popcorn on your stove? When was the last time you, that definitely, this whole thing has been just bringing me back to my childhood. Right? Like the sloppy joes, like the pop, like the back when things were just, good and easy and you know life was a different thing uh that's what this whole walk thing is bringing me back to well i love it and that and that's the whole point is that food is memory we can all we can all find a dish no matter how fancy or, yeah. or how homey and grandmommy it is there's always something that brings you back in your yep. in your brain yep. there's smells and i love that and i love that i'm instilling that in my boys because you said, uh, what, your seven-year-old is kind of like... We have a seven and a, and a uh, uh, ten-year-old. And the younger one is kind of the more adventurous, adventurous eater. Eater. So he'll always sit up with me. My ten-year-old will want to come and, when I'm making popcorn, come and pour the kernels in, oh. put the lid on. My seven-year-old wants to sit up on the counter watching the, the kernels pop. Oh. And I love creating those memories. Aww. I love that. Oh, talking about memories, yes. talking about mac comfort and cheese. food, mac and cheese. Here's what I love about the so mac wait, and cheese. The cheese isn't like sticking to everything and burning everywhere. Well, and... it kind of is, but I'm burning it, I'm caramelizing it. I'm not burning it, I'm caramelizing it. So you see these little brown bits? I want those little brown bits, because that's sort of like what you get when you put it in the oven and, it, and you get it brown on top. Yep. We're getting it brown on the bottom. 
So we don't have to put this in the oven you don't to have get to. that uh, caramelized. Correct. Well, you can do it straight from here. Yep. And if I let this go a little bit more, I could turn this out and get actually like more of the browning, which I that. which I love. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this onto this platter just to show you the sheer quantity <gasps> of what is going on. Look how much. Okay, that's even too much for me. <laughs> that's a lot. I so, see those, there's Tina size, and then I don't, I don't know what that I'd is. I'd say that's going to feed six to eight people. Oh, that's, of, a, of that's like a big Italian family. Right. Like everybody's coming for the mac and cheese there. Holy cow. And then cow. I'm going to go ahead and show you the cleanup because the Midnight Steel, that ceramic, new ceramic nonstick is going to clean right up. So I took a dry rag to get all that extra out. I'm going to take a wet rag to clean the rest out, and that was mac and cheese yeah. cooked inside there. So on the inside and out, it's com you completely just wipe it down. Dishwasher safe? Yes, it is, but you don't need to. You're gonna be able to yeah. take this right to the sink and, and rinse it out and wipe it, and that's it. Uh, the race car red that you were just seeing when Eric was tilting uh, that over, that looks to be uh, becoming very popular this morning. So if you're grabbing that, congratulations. That's a gorgeous color for uh, the kitchen. The amount of mac and cheese that just came out of there and the fact that you, if you think doing mac and cheese, you think the cheese is going to stick to it. The cheese is, you know, that's, right. that's a big undertaking. If you, if you do it in a stainless steel pan, yes. like once you get it done, you're going to be soaking it in the sink at least yes. overnight, unless you have a real good family member that it loves doing dishes. Like my stepmom somehow loves doing dishes. Really? Yeah. She goes, I'll do the dishes. Just leave it. I'll get oh it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Love her. That's really, and then did you see, uh, Chef Eric just went loop and then just slid all of that mac and cheese right into that plate and did a ton of it. Now we're making a whole other meal. Making so a whole that? other Veggies, meal. Veggies. This was pineapple. peppers, three different types of peppers, diced pineapple, and diced pork. And then a little jar of sweet and sour sauce. All you have to do is cook it through. We're gonna let that finish up, and by the time the presentation's done in about six minutes, we're gonna be serving this on top of rice. And I, right now, I am going to go ahead and reach around you and Kay. get some fajitas going, oh, how about I that? I because we can, you I can do that in here. I wanted you, you to do the chef thing. Oh, you want you me to say behind? Yeah, behind. I said, I wanna feel like I'm in a real kitchen. <laughs> do the thing that the chefs do when they walk behind each other, say behind, so then you don't step backwards. You I know what feel we like say if there's a hot pan? Hot behind. We say hot behind. <laughs> behind that means something completely different somewhere else but in the kitchen that makes sense yes in the kitchen it's okay but <laughs> it's that's okay. that is what we we say <laughs> um i want to remind you uh eric basically said if he was on a deserted island the the cookware he would want with him would be this one and today you have it for under $30. We've made so much of this. We popped popcorn. We made sloppy joes. We made a whole rice and veggies dish. Uh, we're making, we're still making this. What are we making here now? I'm going to make fajitas. Oh, fajitas. So we went from Asian and now we're all going to go all the way to like a nice yeah. southwestern Mexican feel. And that's the versatility of the pan. Let me, uh, let me just grab the copper one here. Okay. Again, as with all of Ming's cookware, it can go on top of any stovetop. Yep. Induction, halogen, electric, whatever it is, ceramic, glass top, and you so, can put it anywhere. It's got the soft grip handles. It's the only place it can't go is? In the oven. In the oven. So it it's the only place it can't go. It is not oven safe. Okay. And with this, you really don't need to. If you pick up his induction burner and this, you don't need You're good. Oven. Yeah. You're good. If you get it really down, you can practically, you know, induction and bake in it on the stove top. If you that, cook it low enough, yeah. you really can. By the way, we had that a little bit ago. That's still available, the uh, portable induction. But you have your helper handles here, here, so you know you could actually serve this on your table, let yeah. people help themselves. Or if you have his induction burner, you know you just keep it on the lowest setting, yep. which is 100, and the food will stay hot. You have the the glass tempered glass lid, which is great, and I love that it's the, the nice uh, soft grip handles. Can I tell you? Riveted on. As fabulous as this is, yeah. the, the, the pan itself and everything that it does, if you go and read the reviews, Eric, because mm. um, it's a customer pick, so many people just talk about the handle. Really? Because how, how comfortable it how is? How comfortable it is, how they Ergonomic. may have, uh, they have dexterity issues and they're now able to right. kind of cook again and, and do things with it because it's easy and lightweight to use. Right. So even the handle gets a shout out. <laughs> Uh, that's a good, that's a great point. I mean, I mean, that's that's good construction if people yeah. want to say, like, I love the handle. Right. And that's here, how you know Chef Ming really thought about every part of it. Now, I have this pan right here I'm doing the fajitas in on high. 
And now I just wanna show you how close I'm able to get my thumb up onto the handle without burning myself. I can actually feel warmth, but I'm not being burnt right now. And that's because of the handle, the, the soft grip handle is keeping that nice and cool. There's the flippy. Little flippy flip. There's and the chef flip. The one thing I love is uh, when Chef Ming is here and, and he actually will tell people if you want to practice at home, yeah. go out in your backyard <laughs> with a with some dried <laughs> beans or rice don't, and you can practice doing don't that. Don't think you can just do the you chef try flippy it? thing. No. You want to try it? No? I'm going to ruin on, it. We're going to have veggies in the popcorn and in the mac. I'll, I'll just but ruin everything. You don't, want, you, you don't want to try that. Okay. Just to show how easy it is. We'll it's see. just a light flip. You, a don't light have to, flip. you don't have to go crazy. See? I don't want to do it. I... You did it. You see? She did it. Done and done. Way if to I... go. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm done for the <laughs> I'll, I'll pack this up for you and just tell me where you want it. I was so hesitant, but it was so easy. It's just got that nice little bowl like it's technique. ready for it. That's all it is. I'm not doing fancy chef I'm... things here. I'm doing things that we all just can do at home. I'm adding it to my resume. There you go. I'm gonna be food enthusiast. You just went up a couple of notches. Fancy chef flipper. That just happened. Um, we have again the two colors. What you're looking at right now is the race car red. These pans really are so good looking, Eric. They're just so good looking. So when you were talking about putting something in this and being able to bring it out when you have like a dinner party and people over and family over and kind of setting this out and letting right. people eat from it, it's so nice. That red. It's great. It's it's a so great pop nice. of color. Um, you know, back when I started culinary school and graduated, cookware was just eh. yeah. it was black on the they outside, all, yeah, or if all it black. was all stainless, and it just wasn't attractive. And now people have caught on. The manufacturers have caught on. People love color in their kitchen. Why? Because mm -hmm. that's where people wind up going all the yep. time. No matter how many parties my wife Sharon and I uh, try to put on and s spread out the food, people always wind up sitting at the counter yep. in the kitchen and they want to see what's going on. That is the heart it's, of the home. It's, it really is yeah. the heart of the home. It's the, it's the new meeting place. Oh yeah. It's the, new, it's the, it's the coffee house of our house. It, that's such a great analogy. That's a great analogy. And now you want that place to be fun. You want it to be the place you can make great food. We don't want to overthink it. We need the right tools to get the results that we want. We don't want to have to clean up too much. We also don't want to fight with our pots and our pans. And that's where no Chef No fighting. Me, there's we don't, nothing. We don't want to fight with anything. We want to enjoy, we want to savor, we want to create those memories with our friends and family. Bring everybody around the dining room table again. It's, right? this is the way to do it. This is way to get back to that. So I was saying this earlier, if you're just tuning in, um, everything that we have this hour is gonna be 50% or more off of ev all of the cookware that we have um, from Chef Ming. This being 60% off of this wok, under $30 for this. I also mentioned we're adding, um, uh, or that most of these are going to be customer picks. I think everything we've had has been basically a customer pick. I believe it has. If you go to hsn.com and you look at, you know, you just put in um, Simply Ming um, in there. Oh, 4.5 customer pick, not. I'd say that's pretty good. That's like a thing. Um, this is the one that is kind of like the catch-all. It's big enough to do pasta. It's big enough to do a stir fry. It's big enough to do everything. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs with Do mushrooms. it in here. Ah. Oh. I love that, and he's putting cheese in there. So, uh, Eric's been using a bunch of different things to kind of cook, if you noticed. He has, uh, he, we've already used the tong and the skimmer set. Wait, what's the skimmer called again? Uh, the spider. Ooh, it's called a spider. So this this is the tong, the pair of tongs that come with that yep. that skimmer that we use with the uh, getting the, the donuts. So there it is. There's the skimmer and the tong set. 10-inch uh, steel tongs, 14-inch in the skimmer. Uh, that is available today for under $13 for the set of two. That's more than 50% off for that. So those two we've already been using. We did... Uh, uh, the skimmer or the spider, as, as the chef calls it, uh, for the donut. So that's available today, item number 443489. Um, but if you need some more uh, utensils, which I always love mm -hmm. um, that, we have a five piece utensil set also available. We took $33 off that five piece set. That comes with a slotted spoon, a solid spoon, a slotted tong, 
a long turner and a whisk. So that's all five pieces of that. Under $20 for that stainless steel set. That's also a customer pick. Even the utensils <laughs> are, um, oh, we do, Rob. Okay, so if you use if you use your HSN credit card, you will get, is it two flex pay on that? Oh, you'll get three flex pay on that. On uh, 19 Yeah. Wow, If you use your that's HSN credit card. Today, this hour is a great hour to use your HSN credit card because first off, you get two extra <laughs> flex pay or three in that case. Um, if you don't have one, start off by getting a, a $10 discount off of everything. And with everything already discounted in this clearance hour and you add another $10 off, it's a steal. Yeah. Those uh, are the utensils that. live, just to show you. These are Minus the, the, the whisk. This is the five yeah. set. Yep. Four and then a whisk. Yep. And then you get the, these great tongs that ha those. are actually have holes in them. I'll be using that at the end with uh, some pasta. With but the just pasta. wanted to show you that. <gasps> We're gonna make pasta. Yes, one of my favorite <laughs> pasta dishes. Jumbo is the word I'm gonna use for this. 7.4, uh, quart. Yeah. Jumbo stock pot. Uh, this is the thing that you're gonna be able to make. What, whatever that big dish is that you make for your big family, uh, the big you know, gathering, this stock pot is going to be able to handle it with ease. More than half off, lowest price we've ever been able to bring this to you, so please take advantage of it. Under $40, same colors. Uh, Eric has it in the race card red in his hand right now. We also have it in the copper bronze. Um, did we just like, you know, go to Narlins or something right now because yeah. I feel like we you're just did a, like a little uh, little boil uh. here. You could do a crab boil here. So if you need a little bit more cooking space than say the wok, yeah, seven point four quart stock wow. pot with tempered glass lid is going to do the job this for you. The and it one. also has those soft grip handles and the knob on top. Also has a nice little uh, vent on top, which is going to help steam escape, so you don't get some you know boil yeah. overs when you're doing pasta. So we just did some uh, shrimp and mussels with some white wine and garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put it right here. Okay, you know you, you have a lot in there when you bring out the big bowl. Exactly, oh, and you can goodness. do that. You can do it's everything from out. seafood boils, crab boils, lobster in here, all the way to pastas and braised dishes. You could, you could do a whole uh, pork butt in here. Not a problem. Look how much just came out of there. That was a lot. That was a couple pounds of shrimp. Oh yeah. And, and probably, I'd say about three pounds of mussels. When we're talking about doing like a one pot dinner, that's, you know, obviously the dream. <laughs> one <laughs> pot, put it all in there and you're exactly. done and done. That's what this will give you, that convenience. Uh, again, another customer pick. Uh, Chef really has, uh, Chef Ming really knocked it out of the park with his cookware and I'm so glad that people are coming back to let others know how much they love it. Yeah, because yeah. All the cookware that you're seeing, it's all the midnight steel. It's all PTFE free, PFOA free, which means no plastic synthetics in the cookware. So you're cooking healthier. Uh, you have that option. I love having choices. I love to be able to say, you know what? In this meal, I don't wanna add any additional oil yeah. or butter or fat. Or if you want, if you want to splurge, be like, you know what? I was really good last week. This week, I'm going to put a dab of butter in my in my pan. That's how you I can, justify my life. You can do that. <laughs> I was like, yesterday I ate a salad. I can definitely put butter in this today. <laughs> That's literally my whole life process of doing that. We do have this available on two flex pays if you want to break this into $20 a month. But remember, if you have the HSN credit card, you now get this for four flex pay at $10 a month. But for one $10 payment, you can already start making, what is this, chicken noodle? Chicken noodle soup. Now, if you want to take chicken noodle soup to a whole other level, yeah. just add a bunch of chopped fresh herbs. It adds flavor without adding any calories. That's a great idea. Anything, add parsley, basil, anything flavorful. I was saying Go ahead this, and you put it in there and it, it just, it really creates a, a, a normal soup and it really brings, like elevates it. Like levels it up? Yeah. Um, I was saying the older I get, the more soup I want to eat. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's that's just an one age of those thing or? No. You, it, you, you go through phases. I mean, I know, uh, you know, we're, we're praying for, for spring, but, you know, we also, um, you know, are getting into, you know, the part of the country are, are still cold. Yeah. So there are, there's still time for those soups and stews and, that and those the family recipes. Pot. Exactly. It's the perfect pot because you're easily going to feed a dozen people 
a, you know, worth of soup. And then we also this, have uh, This is 12. how you know you're used to this stock pot and I'm not, because it was like a clown car of corn. You kept talking like it was nothing, and I'm yeah. like, are you still pulling corn <laughs> out of that? I was like, wait, one, two. There's uh, 12. There is a full dozen. There's a dozen full corn cobs that came out of yes. one stock pot. That's the quantity, 7.4 quarts. And you can put some butter on there, or if you like to do Mexican style, you do a little elote, which is that, you know, you cover it with mayonnaise. Now little, you, I'm from Arizona. You You're see, talking then, my language. Then, then you know. <gasps> elote with extra mayonnaise on it. <sighs> yeah, a little of the spice and the lime juice. If you don't know so what that good. is, Google it. Yeah. Changing it's, your life. It really is worth looking up. Here we go. Pasta. So, pasta that I'm not going to additionally cook anymore. So this is a full pound of linguine. We probably could have gotten another box in here and cooked two pounds. You could have done two? E easily. So from there, I just have this bowl that I have some Parmesan cheese, just a touch of garlic, and lemon juice. Now I'm gonna put the pasta right in here. It's almost like a, a lemon vinaigrette in here. Okay. Essentially. And it, that's it, and then stir it up, the pot, you know, along with pasta water. Along with, a that's little, okay. Yeah, that's okay, because you actually wanna use, a, save, pasta water, about a cup to a half a cup of pasta water whenever you're making because huh. you want it, it, the starch that is in the water helps kind of create more of a sauce and it creates this like velvety texture. So that's a nice little tip. So whenever you're cooking pasta, before you drain it, take about a cup of it out and before add you're adding it. Even if you're doing like a marinara with meat sauce because really? it's gonna help. And still thin, put it in there. And still put it in there. Look at all these tips we're getting this morning. We're gonna get great cookware, some great utensils, and we're gonna be able to use all of these great tips that you're uh, giving yeah. us. Um, reminder, Eric just said we could have done a whole other pound yeah. of noodles in there if we wanted to. And so, now, oh. one thing that I will always have in my fridge, and I highly suggest it, is always having some lemons, yep. limes, and a block of Parmesan cheese. If you were to look, in, yeah. that's what I always have. It's, my, it's kind of my go-to thing because you can make so much stuff taste extraordinary with just those just things. Just adding that. A lot of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna go ahead, stir it up. We're gonna, t we're gonna taste it, make sure it tastes good. Always taste as you go. Right. All the way through your cooking process. I always see the chefs doing that when I watch the shows. They always just take their fork and a little bit and then they move that's on. That's it. So I'm actually gonna try a little bit before I know that it's good enough for you. Now, what's great about this, because of the lemon juice, it makes it light. It's not like a really right. heavy sauce. So, that's a real good noodle when you I'm do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do more lemon juice, a little lemon zest in here. I saw this on a TV show once, and I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. I'm gonna try that. With the lemon zest? Well, with the lemon juice, the whole, <sighs> this, whole, this whole dish. And I love that once it comes out of the, the pasta, or out of the, uh, the pot, the 7.4 quart pot, you don't have to cook it again in another pan. It's done. So, when we say jumbo, the amount of food that has come out of here, all of this shrimp, all of the mussels came out of there. A whole, what did we say? It was 12, was it 12? 12, 12 pieces of corn 12, came uh, out yep, of here. Full ear, full 12 ears. It just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. And, here we go, I got you set up. So everything from, from pastas to oh soups, stews, corn, braises, you could do full meats on here, especially if you have the induction burner, you can do a chuck roast, you could do short ribs, anything you want. If you wanna do a huge amount of sloppy joes, you could do that in here. And then also the, sea the seafood bakes are absolutely great. It's that same midnight steel, PTFO, you know, PTFE free, PFOA free. And right there is the joy that I get from feeding my guests and my family is that, oh, that's so good. Can I say that's refreshing? Right. That's, isn't that great? I love and it. And you usually don't say that about pasta. Right. It's very refreshing. Yeah. Eric, you've made everything taste <laughs> Thank amazing. You so much. It was so easy. Happy Please cooking. take advantage. Under $40. This has been wonderful. Colors are still available. <laughs> While Bye -bye. I'm digesting, let's learn about some spring fashion. <laughs>
The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for 